everyone, so today's video is going to be my 100th video which is crazy, I can't believe I've made 100 videos already but I decided to do an updated makeup collection and storage video because the last one I did was quite a little while ago, probably about a year ago and my storage, although I have the same sort of storage system, I still have the same desk I've changed quite a few things, I've changed how things are organised in the drawers and I've like spread it out more so it uses up more drawers and things are better organised and I also have some on desk storage which I use to help me with my blogging organisation and things like that so I thought this would be a good video to do if you need some tips on how to organise your makeup collection or you just want to have a sneak peek into the products I own or even if you are a blogger and you need some tips on how to organise your makeup so that it's really easy to find the products you want to review and feature on your blog and things like that. I apologise if this video is quite long, I'm going to try and make it as short as possible and I am going to sort of show you some of the products in each drawer but I'm not going to show you every single one but do feel free to ask in the comments section what a certain product was that you've seen in the video so yeah, without further ado keep watching to see my makeup collection. Okay so this is my desk and on the top I just have a silver tray with some pretty things on, some candles, I have a basket which I put all of my new products in but at the moment I don't really have any new things apart from some things which are already in drawers to review and then the acrylic storage on top of my desk holds all my sort of daily makeup and also makeup that I want to use a lot more so that I can do thorough reviews on it and things like that. Okay so in the drawers, in the bottom drawer I have lots of lipsticks in here and these are basically all the lipsticks which I've been wearing a lot lately and also some which I want to review like the lacquer balms and matte balms from Revlon which have just come out. So just to show you a couple, this is one of the new Rimmel Moisture Renew lipsticks in the shade Notting Hill Nude which is a really lovely everyday nude with a little bit of peach in there and a little bit of brown in there. And then this one's probably my favourite nude of all time, it's NARS Tolly lipstick which is a really lovely deep nudey pinky colour. And then this one here is one of the YSL Rouge Pour Couture lipsticks and it's a really lovely purpley colour and I absolutely love it. It's in the shade 54. And then in the next drawer I have sort of the base products which I use a lot lately and eyebrow products and primers and things like that. I really really love the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation at the moment and the NARS Tinted Moisturiser. It's absolutely Amazing. And then these drawers have sort of less things in. This has some eye products which I've been using a lot and mascaras. I really, really love the MAC Paint Pot in Eclair. It's such a shame that it's limited edition. And then in this drawer I have some blushes which I want to feature in blog posts and also NARS Gina which is my favourite blush at the moment. And then in the top drawer I just have my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder because it's broken and my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and then on the top I have my Clarisonic and some Aromatherapy Associates Bath Oils and then just a top coat and base coat on the side and yeah that's basically that. Okay so now onto the drawers and I have this whole drawer thing full of makeup and beauty products now. I did used to have I think the first three drawers but I've spread it out a lot more and made it a lot better organised. So in the first drawer I have some things I want to review, some skincare things and now things such as the Nude Prodigious Treatment Oil which I keep meaning to review because I absolutely love it and then I also have some things in here which need using up as soon as possible and also some things which I share with my mum so that they're easily accessible. And then in the next drawer I have all my palettes, I've got quite a few NARS palettes, some MAC palettes and things like that. I really really love the NARS One Night Stand palette which is limited edition unfortunately but all of the blushes I think are permanent so you can still get them and I will still be using it in tutorials. And I also have the NARS Narcissist palette which I love. It looks like this and it has such pretty colours in and I have done a get ready with me with it which I'll link below. And then I have my MAC quads which I have featured in blog posts, so I'll link that below as well. I can't really be bothered to go through all of the colours because I do have quite a few. And then I have a few other NARS palettes, the Naked 2 palette, Naked Basics palette. I have this Kat Von D palette which is in the colour Saint and it has this eyeliner and also some really lovely eyeshadows. And then in the next drawer it goes on to sort of proper makeup and I have all my foundations, concealers, powders, blushes, bronzers, highlighters, mascaras, brow products, things like that. This is basically my face drawer. So face wise I have quite a few which I love. I have got a blog sale going on at the moment and I am selling some things on the Depop app which you can get for iPhone I think. And yeah so I don't have as many as I used to have in here but these are basically all of my favourites. 
So I've got the Jouer Luminizing Moisture Tint, which I use mostly for college days because it's just really sheer and glowy and natural looking. And then I have the YSL Taint Tutor Cut Foundation, which is a really lovely everyday foundation. It's sort of a medium coverage and quite glowy, so I really like that. And then I have the L'Oreal Luminous Foundation, which is really similar to the YSL one actually, but just sort of a bit higher coverage and it doesn't last quite as long on the skin, but I do still really love it. And then I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which is probably my favourite evening foundation. And then concealer-wise, I have my Bobbi Brown concealer and powders. I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder. I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I have the Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade by MAC, which is a really lovely alternative to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. And then I have Chanel Le Beige, which is a really lovely powder for touching up because it does have a tiny bit of coverage and gives you a really nice glow whilst matting everything down. Moving back, and I have all of my primers and eyebrow products and mascaras on the left. So I've just got some Ardell individual lashes. I've got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, which I really love and I really need to get more use out of. I've got quite a few mascara samples. I think this is the Kevin Aquan mascara and the Benefit They're Real. I have a Codley lip balm, which is just a really lovely everyday light lip balm to use and it smells really nice. I've got the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes, which is one of my favourite mascaras, but I'm trying to use up some other ones before I continue using this. And then I just have a few more primer samples and some sharpeners. And then in this middle container I have all my bronzers and contour powders and highlighters. So I do have quite a few but I really do love contouring and highlighting. So my absolute favourite for sort of the summertime is NARS Laguna Bronzer. I don't use it that much in the winter as it does have a little bit of shimmer which picks up mostly in harsh winter and autumn light but in the summer you can't really see the shimmer at all. And then I have MAC Harmony Blush which is a really lovely subtle blush to use for contouring and it would be really great on pale skins. My favourite highlighter of all time is the Jouer Highlighter. This is a really lovely cream highlighter which just blends in really seamlessly to the skin and gives you a really lovely natural glow. And then of course I love the Kevin Aucoin Highlighter and Contour Powders. This is the Celestial Powder in Candlelight which is just a gorgeous gorgeous champagne coloured highlight which is so finely milled and just blends into the skin really nicely. And then this is the Sculpting Powder in Medium which is just a really lovely grey toned brown which can be used for contouring on basically any skin tone and it just looks really natural and creates a really nice shadow to really define the cheekbones really subtly. And then I also have things such as the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and I also have a limited edition Estee Lauder highlighter which is really gorgeous but I try not to use it too much because I really don't want it to run out. And then this container here is for blushes and this isn't even all of them. I do have some of them in that drawer and I do have some for sale on my blog sale. I do not know how I accumulated so many but I do really love blusher and I love wearing loads of different colours for different makeup looks. So I have a few of my NARS blushes. I do have quite a few in the acrylic storage because I do wear them a lot and I really love them. So in here I have Liberty which is a really lovely sort of reddish orangey colour which is just really nice for the autumn and winter. I have Amore which is a really lovely rosy pink blush which is quite deep but applies quite sheer so it's really lovely for sort of any daytime makeup look or evening makeup look which you want to be a little bit more pinky. And then I have Mata Harry which is a really different blush for me. It's sort of a pinky purpley colour. It's quite blue toned but I do really love it for the summer. And then I also have a few cheaper blushes. I have the Natural Collection blush in Peach Melba which I absolutely love and it was in my January favourites which I'll link below if you'd like to see that. And I also have the Max Factor Creamy Blush in Soft Rose, I believe, which is a really lovely cream blush which suits sort of all skin tones. It's really lovely, natural rosy flush kind of colour. And then I have a few MAC blushes. This is MAC Cobertone, which is just a really lovely orangey brown colour which can be used to warm up the face and sort of bronze and contour at the same time. And I also have Desert Rose, which is just a really lovely pinky rosy colour, which is just, yeah, it's just a really nice dusty rose colour. And then at the back I have a couple of Tarte blushes, this one's the shade Tipsy I believe and this one is the shade Natural Beauty which is just a really lovely deep pinky rosy colour. And then I also have some Stila Cream blushes which I love for the summer, this one is the shade Petunia which is just a really lovely 
pinky corally colour. And then this is the shade Gladiola, which is a really, really lovely bright orange colour, which shears out really nicely so it doesn't look too bold and harsh. And yeah, that's basically that drawer at the back. I have some pens for my blackboard, which I don't really use all that much. And then in this drawer, I have all of my lipsticks, my lip products, and all of my eye products, other than my palettes, obviously. So starting off with the eyeshadow section, I have some sort of eyeliners and eyeshadow crayons and things like that. So I've got the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Plum, which is just a really gorgeous plummy colour with a lot of purple shimmer in it, but it also comes off quite brown if you sheer it out. I've got some of the Rimmel Scandalized pencils. I have the shade Bronze and the shade Nude and the shade Taupe, I think they're called. And they're all really lovely and creamy and easy to apply and they stay put for a really long time. I've got the Top Shop Magic Liner, which is my current favourite liquid eyeliner. I've got the NARS eyeshadow base, which I haven't used yet. It came with my And God Created the Woman palette, but I am really excited to try it because I hear it's amazing. I've got a Smashbox eyeliner pencil, eyeshadow pencil thing, which was limited edition, I believe, at Christmas. And it's the shade Fade to Black or something like that. And it's just a really gorgeous khaki, bronzy, golden, blacky kind of colour, which is really lovely. And I've also got some mascaras, which I'm not sure why they're in there instead of with my other ones, but oh well, this is the Maybelline one by one mascara. And then eyeshadow-wise, these are basically just all of my cream eyeshadows. I don't really have that many eyeshadow singles because I'm just not really a huge fan of them. But I do have the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow pigment thing, which is in the shade Bottomless Java, which is a really lovely deep brownie bronze colour. And then I also have the MAC eyeshadow in Uninterrupted, which I've used in a video before, so I'll link that down below. It's just a really lovely ochre kind of colour, which is really strange and different, but it does make an eye look really warm and nice. And then as for the cream eyeshadows, I have quite a few of the Maybelline colour tattoos. This is the shade On and On Bronze, which is my favourite. I also have the shade Metallic Pomegranate, which is just a really lovely cranberry kind of colour, very similar to MAC cranberry eyeshadow actually. And then I just have a couple of the other shades, this one's taupe, and I also have the black one. And then onto this section here, and this has all my lip glosses, my sort of lip crayons, my lip liners, things like that. So I have a few MAC lip liners, I have the shade burgundy, which is just a really lovely deep red colour. I have the shade nice and spicy, which is a really lovely nudey pink kind of colour, which just works well with all nudes. And I have the shade Subculture, which is just a lighter kind of nude liner, which just is really nice to use with any lipstick just to line out your lips. And then what else do I have in here? I have a couple of the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors. I have the shade 06 and 03. Then I also have the Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick by Soap and Glory in the shade Nudist, which is just a really lovely Your Lips But Better nude colour with a little bit of peach in it. And then I also have a couple of the Sleek Pout Polishes. I do use these more as blushes actually, but they're really lovely on the lips as well. This is the shade Electro Peach, which is just a really lovely, corally, bright, peachy red colour. Other than that, I have this MAC lipstick in the shade Ronnie Red, which was limited edition, and I absolutely love it. It's just a really gorgeous raspberry red colour. And then I also have a couple of the chubby stick kind of pencils. I have one of the actual Clinique chubby sticks, and this is in the shade Full of Fig, which is a really lovely pinky brown colour. And then I have a couple of the Bourgeois Colour Boosts. I don't know what shade this is, but it's the sort of orangey pink one. And then I also have this one, which is called Red Sunrise, and it's just a really lovely reddish raspberry pink colour. I have a couple of the Rimmel Apocalypse. This one is the shade Big Bang, which is just a really lovely red colour. And I've got an Hourglass Opaque Rouge in Riviera, which is a really gorgeous orangey red colour, which just stays put all day until you remove it. And then also in here I have a NARS Satin Lip Pencil. This is the shade Luxembourg and it's just a gorgeous deep pink colour. And then at the back I have all of my lipsticks which aren't kept in my acrylic storage. So this side has all of my high-end lipsticks and the other side has all of my drugstore lipsticks. So I won't go through all of my MAC lipsticks because I do have a MAC lipstick collection video which I'll link down below. I do have a couple new ones though. This one's the shade Spice It Up which I have used in a blog post or a tutorial I think so I'll link that down below. It's just a really gorgeous sheer reddish brownie colour which is just really nice for the winter. 
And I also have this colour which is Media, which is a really lovely deep deep red colour which is just really again lovely for the winter. Other than that I don't think I have too many new ones so to go through my others I have this Chanel lipstick in the shade 19 which is a really lovely red colour with a tiny bit of shimmer in it but it's not too noticeable and I wore this to prom and I absolutely love it. And then I have a couple of YSL lipsticks. This is the YSL Glossy Stain in shade 21, which is just a really lovely orangey colour. It's very, very vibrant orange. I would say it's a little bit more yellow than the likes of MAC Mirage, which I really like. And then in this side, I have some Sleek lipsticks, some Rimmel lipsticks, some Revlon lipsticks, things like that. So this colour here is Revlon Black Cherry, which is a really, really lovely deep burgundy colour, but it's slightly more red than the other ones that I have. And then this one is one of the new Rimmel Moisture and New Lipsticks in Dark Night Water Loops and it's just a really lovely purpley colour. It's very similar to MAC Rebel actually but a little bit darker and less sheer. And then I also have this number 7 lipstick which is a really lovely peachy colour. It's called Coral Peach actually and it's just sort of the perfect peachy everyday lip colour if you're slightly more tanned because it is that little bit darker. And then I have quite a few sleek lipsticks. I've got the shade OMG, which is a really gorgeous reddish orange colour, very similar to MAC Lady Danger. And I have this lipstick, which is a gorgeous purpley vibrant pink colour, and it's called Mystic. And then at the back here, I have some of my Rimmel lipsticks. This is one of the Rimmel Kate Moss lipsticks in the shade 107, which is a really lovely sort of raspberry deep red colour. And then I just have a nude from Rimmel, which is in the shade 08, which is a really lovely everyday colour. It's got a little bit of brown in it, a little bit of pink in it, which makes it really wearable. So that's everything makeup-wise. And then in the very, very bottom drawer, I have sort of body products and samples. So I have some moisturisers, some hair brushes, some hair stuff, some sort of shampoo samples, some makeup remover samples and things like that. This isn't very interesting, but I do really like this Vaseline Spray and Go Body Moisturiser because it's just so, so, so easy to use and so quick to use. So that was my makeup collection, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful and it gave you some helpful tips on how to organise your makeup. Let me know if you'd like to see reviews or features on any of the products you've seen in this video. And like this video if you liked it and subscribe to see more of my videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye!